New details tonight on the Sheffield smoking ban. More and more potential business owners say the city's ban stopped their dreams of opening a cigar lounge. The Sheffield mayor says city council will call an emergency meeting in the future to discuss the issue or they face being sued. Witherdwin's Brecken Terry shows us how others hope to jump in on this lawsuit to put pressure on the city. I'm here off of North Jackson Highway where Tracy Mills says that this building was going to be her retirement plan after working for some 18 years in the cigar industry. She had plans of fixing this place up and turning it into a members only cigar lounge. But Sheffield's smoking ban stopped those plans. It's like going to college and, and wanting to have a career and finish your degree and not be able to do what you had set out to do. Tracy Mills told Way 31 the smoking ban in Sheffield stopped her property from becoming a cigar lounge. She thinks the ordinance is ridiculous. Um, you know, we don't have an aquarium here. We don't have uh, gambling facilities. And yet that's where those places were outlined in this ordinance. It was just a basic copy and paste ordinance that no one really looked into. Mills was at Monday night's Sheffield City Council meeting where the smoking ban was a topic of discussion. Attorney Bennett Pugh represents Joseph Mitchum, who moved back to Sheffield to start his own cigar shop. He already bought the building and was about to start renovations when the smoking ban was passed in October. Mitchum said he was told by city council members he could still move on with his business, but that wasn't the case. And now Pugh is telling city council members to repeal the smoking ban or pay them $50,000 because of the hardship. There have been uh, expenses that we've had to incur. At the same time, we haven't been able to open a business, so uh, that has had a toll on us um, economically. City Council didn't vote Monday night on any changes to the smoking ban, but said they might do a special called meeting. They won't comment on pending litigation. Mills told Way 31 she had a meeting with Pew and is now thinking of adding her name to the potential suit. It wasn't up to different people in the community, um, and business owners in particular, to have their choice of what they wanted to do with their business. It's unclear when Sheffield City Council members could hold this special called meeting to possibly vote on the smoking ban. In Sheffield, Breck and Terry, Way 31 News. Pew told us he will file a lawsuit by the end of June if the city doesn't reverse the smoking ban.